stocks of big triggers. Uh, IDBI Bank saw a robust expansion in its net interest margin, which was aided by a sharp rise in yields. The slippages have also declined, but the write-offs are elevated and the deposit growth momentum is weak. Rakesh Sharma, the MD and CEO of the company, joins us now to discuss more on their Q1 performance. Mr. Sharma, appreciate you uh, joining in here on CNBC TV 18. You know, it was a sharp rise in yields which aided the uh, very strong net interest margin expansion. Just trying to understand, is this a sustainable NIM situation and what is the expectation as we move along into the next few quarters? At the beginning of the year also, we had indicated that our net interest margin will be about 3.5%. This quarter, there was one, one of uh, recovery, which was uh, about around 1,096 crore, which was credited to, to interest account. So that has helped in improving the NII and uh, net interest margin. But even if we exclude for them, that is what we internally monitor, the monitor that is core NIM. So the core NIM has increased from 3.73 uh, in June uh, 2022 to 3.94. So there is improvement because uh, we have been able to uh, uh, control the cost on deposit vis-a-vis -vis the yield on advances. That yield on advances has increased. So and we are quite hopeful that uh, we will be able to sustain this uh, core new. Hi, good morning, Mr. Sharma. Well, could you tell us what's the outlook on asset quality and stressed assets resolution? Basically, what kind of resolutions you expect from the NCLT in F524? Write-offs as well remain elevated. Why is that? No, no, write-off. Uh, this uh, quarter, in fact, uh, uh, there was not much. It was only 2,000 crore. That too, because of that recovery in that big account which I mentioned. So that account recovery has happened through NCLT only. So this quarter, their recoveries were 1,628 crore. That is the cash, uh, basically, recovery, what we have seen. And uh, the uh, NPS... These have, because of this recovery, NPAs have shown uh, reduction. The net NPA uh, has increased from 0 0.92 to 0 0.44. This is also, of course, because of our accelerated provision. The gross NPA has also come down to 5.05. And, uh, you know, one factor also I like to mention here, the slippages have been under control. In fact, it was only 5 5.551 crore and 1.16 crore, 1.16 percent slippage ratio, probably the lowest in the previous three to four years. So the deposit growth was weak, but you benefit from a lower credit deposit ratio as well. Can you give us an outlook on what the deposit growth look like? What could the loan growth look like going ahead? Would you continue to witness this rundown of deposits in the near future? Deposits, uh, YOY growth is around 8 percent, 8.74 percent. And uh, the advances have grown by uh, uh, almost 20 percent. So both way, uh, but uh, you know, our LCR was uh, quite uh, comfortable. We, uh, in fact, at the beginning of the year, we had indicated that the deposits will grow between, you know, around 10 percent and grass advances will grow around uh, 10 to 12 percent. But this time, because of the some, uh, uh, the retail uh, growth has happened, you know, at around 13 percent. So this is as per line. Corporate, we have been able to book some good uh, big accounts. So that has helped us in improving the uh, advances growth to 19%. Let us see the, our efforts will continue uh, in improving, improving the numbers in the coming quarters. Well, any fundraising plans, sir, in the near term? And also any stake sale in any of your holdings? Yeah, fundraising is because you have seen my capital adequacy ratio is 20.33. So they, uh, we do not have any, uh, you know, plan for raising either, you know, the tire one funds or uh, the uh, equity because we are comfortably placed as far as capital adequacy is concerned. Now, yes, um, the, the, this uh, uh, on the uh, subsidiaries. Uh, we have one subsidiary that uh, mutual fund because, uh, you know, as per the SEBI directions, we had to sell it because uh, LIC is also having one of its subsidiary. So I think we, uh, by this month end or within, within a month or so, we will be able to finalize that. But other than that, other subsidiaries will continue and all subsidiaries are profit-making subsidiaries. 
So the operating efficiency improved in this quarter, which is good because the OPEX declined quite a bit, the operating expenses. Are you confident of maintaining this cost to income ratio uh, below 40% or do you see it come back to those 43 to 45% levels? See, generally, like, you know, as uh, I was mentioning that one-off income was there that has helped us in uh, showing the cost to income ratio around 37 percent. But if we exclude that, it is around uh, 48 percent range. So we, were, we will be somewhere in that range only, 45 to 48 percent. And uh, but other than that, operational expenses, of course, in March, uh, we had done, uh, you know, one, uh, one-off provision for... Uh, uh, the salary revision part, yes, 15 provision. But overall, the cost is under control. Income we will try to improve. The, the uh, uh, emphasis will continue to maintain the cost to income ratio between 46 to 48 percent. Okay, well, thanks a lot for that. That's IDBI Bank. But Prakash Divan is.